So I'm Justin G8YTZ. This is the uh, DVBS digital ATV transmitter. Um, <clears throat> the uh, system is uh, essentially uh, uh, boards from uh, srsystems.de. The left one being the DVBS modulator. The right hand here being the MPEG2 coder. You can see the um, white, red, and uh, yellow plugs being uh, left and right audio and uh, video. And the other silvery plug there is uh, S video for S video input. You can see the RF output on the SMA connector there, and obviously the power connector. Power is transferred from the modulator through the um, transport stream connector, that's that multi-way ribbon cable there, uh, as well as obviously the uh, transport stream from the MPEG coder uh, to the um, modulator. And in the front here there's um, a, uh, a control board, uh, which makes it a bit easier than using a RS-232 on the PC. Um, it's currently uh, on air. Um, the uh, power amplifier, I'll show you quickly, is uh, from DG0VE. It's um, a MOSFET uh, PA. Um, produces, believe it or not, about 90 watts single tone and certainly uh, performing uh, well um, adequately and linear enough for uh, 60 watts uh, on 70 centimeters. And uh, if you look at the uh, power meter down here, we can see we're currently. Um, just above uh, 60 watts uh, forward power and uh, it's going into a create log peri periodic right now so not a fantastic amount of gain from a log but nevertheless um, you know, a very nice SWR, very very flat uh, SWR curve on this antenna either that or I've got enormous feeder loss <laughs> anyhow, um, I know I haven't got enormous feeder loss so this is the transmitter front panel the uh, case I've had uh, designed uh, ready for this um, particular um, piece of work and uh, as you can see, um, it's quite a nice job. Uh, the um, screw heads are going to be um, countersunk and uh, there'll be screen printing on the front and rear panels uh, for the completed model, which I hope to have at the Kempton Rally uh, next week. Uh, we're in April 2012 right now. So um, this is the uh, radio. If, um, you know, if I come out of that, you can just see it's uh, showing that we're uh, cur currently on there. And I'll drive around the menus and just show you very quickly. So if I go into the menu option, I'm going to start with um, the um, modulation category. And uh, you can see we're on air right now. And uh, we're on 437 megahertz. Uh, this actually, uh, the uh, oscillator in this, the, the uh, synthesizer, um, goes all the way from 70 megahertz to um, 2200 megahertz. If you fancy a bit of digital telly on 70 megahertz, well, <laughs> I'm sure it's done somewhere in the world. Um, there used to be telly on there, of course, the old band one, but uh, it's probably a little unsociable. Um, anyhow, um, mo moving on, uh, we can see uh, normal spectrum as opposed to reverse spectrum there on that selector. Um, we're not going carrier only. I can go into carrier only for single tone tests, and uh, that's a, it's a good idea of where you're driving your amplifier. And the next category is the gain. That's the RF gain on the output, so I can alter the gain. Um, go up and down to uh, make sure I'm not driving the amplifier too hard uh, for reasonable linearity. And uh, that's the symbol rate. You can set uh, the symbol rate right down to 1 meg. And I can't remember what it goes up to. Something like the 27 meg or something like that. So uh, rather too much for the amateur bands. But nevertheless, 2 meg is uh, the standard most people use in the UK. And uh, moving on, 3-4 error correction is a good compromise. That means about um, 3 quarters of the... Uh, uh, 2 meg symbols per second is available actually for um, uh, uh, carrier, um, you know, for, for transport stream. The rest of uh, the bandwidth obviously been used for error correction, forward error correction. And um, if I go, I'll drop down to show a couple of other the um, uh, features. I'm um, video very quickly go into there. You can see that uh, I'm on the CVBS input, the uh, you know composite PAL. Um, I can select PAL, NTSC, etc. Um, the resolution standard, I'm uh, going for D1, and um, the uh, various other, I won't go through it all, but uh, modes. Um, so, um, uh, and, and bitrate auto, okay. So, if I go into um, uh, audio, for example, you can see line in, line level, mono stereo selection. I've gone for quite a low audio rate, 32k sample, and 1 to 8 kilobits bitrate. I say it's low, it's quite high compared with DAB and what some of the stations are running right now. So um, there, there are various other settings as well. Um, if we look at the program service indicator tables, 
you can see I've got GHYTZ Digital Amateur TV set there as a network name um, and uh, the program uh, uh, provider is uh, Justin GHYTZ and you can see the program uh, name for this particular stream is uh, or, or, or the multiplex is GHYTZ TV now um, when, I, when I get to doing the repeater I hope to have a couple of streams and different inputs for the different streams so uh, you know, two people simultaneously could use the uh, repeater that's the idea anyway so I have a couple of uh, multiplexes on the uh, stream and, and uh, the PSI tables sorry the uh, PID table settings are interesting um, obviously these have got to be unique on the receivers so I've, I've got the video set to 110 the audio set to 111 and the um, uh, uh, PMT PID set to um, 112 um, and I have to change that and go on different bands so my receiver can pick it all up because the receiver's locked. Anyway, that's a quick brief overview of the uh, transmitter. The cases will be ready in about a week's time, uh, ready for the Kempton Rally in 2012, that's April 2012, and um, I'm going to bring some cases up there and uh, they're going to be priced at £99. Quite a lot of um, design work went into these, so... Uh, uh, and and the, the, the final job should look very neat as well. Okay, all the best. Uh, look forward to hearing from anyone. If you want to email me, it's g8ytz at btinternet.com. That's g8ytz at btinternet.com.